Friends, welcome to my workplace at Maghat, West Bengal, India. This is a very challenging case with pseudo exfoliation, weak jonule, small pupil, and a hard nucleus. I have taken up this case for surgery. By this time, all the incisions have been made, and now the anterior capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye. Little bit of adrenaline has been applied. The dye is washed out. And at this time, we can see that the pupil size is okay. It is about 6 millimeter. And if this dilatation remains, the surgery should not be any problem. Visco is applied over the corneal epithelium lot of visco should not be applied so that it overflows onto the sclera now see as I do capsulorexis the whole capsular bag moves from side to side and this indicates that there is generalized weakness of the jonule if we don't be careful in such cases, there can be genular dialysis and the capsular bag may come out. The surgery becomes ICCE, that is intracapsular cataract extraction, if we do not take adequate care at the right time. Rexis has been done very gently and now this is hydro dissection. Nucleus is tapped very gently. Hydro dissection has been done at multiple points and then now nucleus is rotating and every moment I am afraid that the capsular bag should not be seriously damaged. Now with very low vacuum, moderate flow rate, I have started the surgery. I am in FACO 2 mode from the very beginning and I am going to divide the nucleus by my technique which I call submarine chop. Some air bubbles have gone that has to be removed. Bury the tip again into the substance completely. Go through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and after crossing the central part going for a distance try to chop it it is a nice crack. Rotate the o nucleus on 180 degree. Hold this hemineucleus and separate the two hemineuclei completely. And now each hemineucleus is subdivided into pieces. At this time, I notice that the Rexis margin is not visible in the inferior aspect and the Rexis margin is advancing towards the center from one o'clock. So here I decide to come out and support the capsula bag with a CTR. Inject some visco that is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now I take a CTR that is capsular tension ring. The leading end goes into the capsular bag 
very gently I advance the sit here come near the trailing end hold the trailing end with a Macpherson's forceps introduce a Sensky hook through the side port with the help of the Sensky hook I could place the CTR in the capsular bag now the bag is supported but the people size has come down so much that I am not comfortable to manage this nucleus without dilating the people to some extent. So I ask for a people expansion device and this is B hex. It is taken into the anterior chamber completely and the leading flange is tucked and through the main incision itself I could tuck the flange which is centered at on o'clock. Now I go through the left side port and tuck the flange with which is as centered at ten o'clock. This is a real time placement of B hex and you can make out that it has taken much less time than placing iris hooks. Moreover, the iris is at its own plane. The iris is not elevated, which would occur with B hex with iris hooks. And now I am very gently emulsifying each nuclear fragment and slowly I am relieved that the capsular bag has been supported and the people will not become smaller now I have to manage with this dilation but it is okay now I come out inject some visco B hex means Bhattacharji hexagonal B for Bhattacharji hex for hexagonal this is a hexagonal people expansion device invented by Dr. Suvan Vattacharji of Kolkata, India. It's a very nice device. All of us Indian ophthalmologists can afford this device. And now the other heminucleus is being concurred. We go through this through the substance of this nucleus and divide this seminucleus further into pieces. Many cases are seen that the lens back complex drops into the vitreous cavity. Those cases are probably of this kind. Here I am going to place the lens in the bag but after several years the bag lens complex may drop into the vitreous cavity. then we have to take help of a vitreous colleague 
remove that and again do surgery for a scleral fixation intraocular lens this is the last nuclear fragment FICOR in this case is 75 percent flow rate is 32 ml per minute and vacuum is 300 millimeter of mercury now at this time I am very much afraid that I will catch the posterior capsule while managing this epinucleus. So I decide to come out at this stage. I inject visco. I can see the rexus margin, I can see the bag is posterior capsule is intact. And so before managing this epinucleus, I want to place the lens in the capsular bag, support the bag further, get a platform on which I can manage this epinuclei this epinucleus. Here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single phase monofocal intraocular lens. Yes, it has gone into the capsular bag. And now I am relieved that the posterior capsule has been permanently protected. I'll go into the eye with the FACO probe again, but I'll not catch the posterior capsule. And now here it is. Going, going to manage the epinucleus by the FACO probe itself. And uh, here it is. The epinucleus are coming very nicely. In spite of there's a seat here because I'm using the FACO probe itself and the nuclear and the bag has been supported well by the CTR. There's some cortex remaining at 5 o'clock which I removed with Simco which I have not shown in this surgery. And now I'm going to remove the BHEX, uh, see how it can be removed. Inject Visco Take the BHEX forceps, 23G forceps, hold the flange at 5 o'clock or any flange, pull it centrally, disengage or untuck all the flanges, hold the flange at 5 o'clock, take it further inferiorly, now catch hold of the flange just in front of the main incision and gently pull it out. Now we have to remove the visco thoroughly. Friends, patience, more patience, still more patience is the key to success in such challenging cases. I took 27 minutes for this surgery. It has been edited to about 15 minutes but still it is a lot of time. If you have watched this whole surgery, it has increased your patience and I hope you will be encouraged to take challenging cases. You will develop necessary skills to manage such challenging cases. The case is done, the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. 
These are the post-op pictures after four hours. See the cornea is clear, antechamber is quiet, people is round, and I am very happy. Patient is also very, very happy. So be encouraged to take off challenging cases. Thank you very, very much for your attention.